Somebody said I was cleaning my doors and thought of rain. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi guys. Um, sorry, we were trying to make some last last minute changes because ray is tall and i am short so we were trying to fit in the camera together but hello everybody thank y'all for joining on in let me know if y'all can see right now y'all can hear everything perfectly let me know in the comments before we go ahead and get started what's up there's my husband hello in indiana and chicago happy holidays chicago we have a couple of people in here from chicago austin hello everybody Okay, everything is good. Good. That's good. All right. So today, as y'all know, my husband is going to be attempting to make some keto cheese sticks. But I'm going to go ahead and he's never made them before. So I'm going to go ahead and make the first round of the cheese sticks and kind of give him an idea on how to make them. Um, and I really just wanted to show y'all how to make them too because I don't know. <laughs> how they're gonna come out when he makes them so i know a lot of people really wanted a, a cheese stick recipe so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make them how i do it i've kind of learned because i've done so many um cheese sticks i've kind of learned my way and what's the best way on how to do them so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on me first and then we'll let my husband do it you want to hold this babe yeah hold on. yeah my husband's gonna hold this we were trying to set it on like our tripod that i usually set it on but our height difference is too much. I'm only 4'11", he's 6 foot, and just the height difference was way too much. We couldn't fit in the camera together. Okay. In the Smoky Mountains, wow, hello. Hi in California, Arizona, Tennessee, New York. We got everybody here. Mississippi, Canada. Hi, Midland. Midland Texas. Midland, Texas. You need a step stool? I have one. My husband actually just ordered me one. Okay, so I need to flip the camera. Okay, now it's facing you. Turn it the other way. How do you do it? Turn it, babe. You did it. Like this, so you can see everything. Oh, okay. You can read me some comments. Okay, so we got everything set up over here for the cheese sticks. So this is the mixture that I always make for my cheese sticks. I do have a video on how to make some mozzarella sticks. But it was only the almond flour one, and I've kind of changed it up over the year. I mixed it in with chicharron. So I'm going to read some comments right here from y'all, too. I'm here. She put the little fire extinguishers. The microphone is backwards. It's facing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, then face the camera this way. I don't know how. This is your phone on mine. It's right here. Mm. And then just face it this way so I could talk to y'all. Okay, so she put the little fire extinguishers. Ohio and Georgia. Okay, so these are the regular chicharrones that, put it down a little bit. These are the regular chicharrones that I went in with. I used the whole bag. These are just the HB ones, regular fl um, flavor. Blue diamond almond flour. Yeah, I usually get that one from Walmart, but I was at HEB, so I went ahead and picked up HEB brand. Really good deal. Um, 20 bucks for that big bag. So I went in with the big bag of chicharrones just original flavor and what you want to do is you pour it in here and you just blend it up to like a really really fine i was going to show y'all but i didn't want the um, the blender to be really loud on live hello and taylor in tampa florida okay and then i went in so one bag of chicharrones and then i went in with one cup of almond flour just some regular plain almond flour Hello in Chicago. If you like spicy, get the ones. Yeah, I try spicy ones. H-E-B has spicy flavors too. They have a tons of different flavors. But usually with cheese sticks, I kind of just use regular. So one cup of almond flour and a whole bag of chicharrones. You want to blend it until it's nicely blended like this. And yeah, that is going to be your coating for the cheese sticks. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Ray's trying to uh, set the camera down so y'all could see better. What's We're it? trying to figure this out, see what looks better. That looks good. Kind of walking around with it. Yeah, we don't have our gimbal. Yeah, we don't have our gimbal. Well, we have it, but I, I was smart. I was smart on the tech thing. <laughs> you listen to me. <laughs> okay, so this is my almond flour mixture. I'm just going to pour it onto a plate. 
because you know this is going to be our coating we need a surface to go ahead and put it on can't see it. yeah just put it down okay we'll leave some here so it makes a good amount i'm gonna show y'all looks like this i need to mix it a little bit more make sure everything is well mixed together so I just like this half and half kind of thing because I've tried it. I tried it with just straight almond flour. My husband did. He said it was okay, but it's a little dry. So when I add in the crushed chicharrones, it kind of adds a little bit of like oilness to it. It's just like the perfect mix between it. So I like to go ahead and mix them together. So we have our plate of almond flour here and chicharrones. Now this is optional. Um, Y'all can go ahead and go in with some shredded Parmesan cheese, or you can just use a, like, get it right, right? <laughs> yeah. Cubs. Hello in California. Sorry, I'm gonna try to go through y'all's comments too. What are the ratio? What's the ratio of almond? To so it's a whole bag of chicharrones, and then it's one cup of almond flour. Our Christmas was really good. We kind of relaxed this Christmas. We didn't do nothing crazy. I didn't want to go all out where we spent time with some family. But shredded Parmesan, I pretty much like grab a handful, pretty much like one fourth cup of some shredded Parmesan. And we're going to go ahead and add it in here. And then I go ahead and mix it in. And then we'll put some more like shredded Parmesan on top as well. Hello. And then we have to season this up. So for my seasonings, I'm going to go ahead and season with some salt to taste. Not too much because the pork grinds are pretty much already salty. And then you can go in with some oregano. We got some garlic powder. I use garlic powder for everything. Yeah, uh, Parmesan definitely gives it that um, extra crunch. Hello. Okay, so a garlic powder. What's up? Just some very basic seasonings. We're also gonna go in with some black pepper. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and mix this all together. And this is going to be our breading. I have tons of recipes here on my YouTube channel for New Year's Eve. I got lots of great recipes, appetizers, back in my older videos, soups, all kinds of things. Shakurdi, shakurdi, I can't say it. Shakurdi, shakurdi, board. Shakurdi. Uh, those look very. I don't know. They look good, but they look like a lot of work. I always see people make all these kinds of different things. That was the thing that you asked about the other day. They're like, why do they, do they make those? Those boards with like all the cheeses and meats and all those yeah. things. Yeah. Thank you. That's funny. Okay, so we have, this is our coating. So that's all you're going to put in there. The seasonings, Parmesan cheese, chicharrones, and almond flour mix. So we're going to go ahead and set this to the side. Now we got to go in with our wet batter. So depending on how many cheese sticks you make, I'm making eight. I'm going to make four. Ray's going to make four. Um, usually I kind of just like to add extra egg because I double coat my um, cheese sticks. So I go in with four large eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these in. Casual recipes. Yeah, we got. I got tons of casual recipes. That's funny because I was going to say shark coochie board. Coochie board, yeah. Coochie board. Uh, shark coochie board. Coochie board. <laughs> Did you have to ask your husband to do keto with you? You're trying to figure out. No, I kind of wanted to do it because yeah. getting sick with Corona really was like. He kind of just, I asked him at first, but he's like, oh, I don't really like foods. Like in the beginning when I first started and I kind of just gave up and eventually he just came around. It was we, more, uh, when I was in Wyoming and Rollins, we had a hotel that was a third, third uh, floor. Mm-hmm. Okay, baby. Hold on. My son's coming. He's asking for something to drink real quick. Just give us a second. You can give us some um, apple juice right there, baby. In the fridge. 
Um, but yeah, when he was out of town and work, he got COVID while he was over there and he realized that his health had a big part on, on it, just like his breathing wise. And I don't know, it just took a big toll on his body. Yeah, I tried it with Italian seasonings. That's pretty much the same thing. You can do it with that. Thank you. So once he noticed that, he just really wanted to go ahead and jump into keto and get his health in check. We, got know, we were on the third floor at a hotel in Wyoming. And sometimes we take the elevator because by the time I got to the top of just the third floor, I'd be out of breath. And yeah. It'd be like... I'd be like crazy out of breath for like probably about a minute and a half. Yeah. Um, what did they say? No, I'm not the one that sings my intro song. I cannot sing for the life of me. That is our friend from the Philippines. Her name is Crystal Budimo. Budimo. Yeah, something like that. And then um, her info is in my description. She sings like on live sessions and all kinds of things. So you can find her. It's an app. Yeah, it's an app on live sessions and she sings in there she's really good called live sessions. um i'm blending up my four eggs you have to make sure you blend your eggs really well because if you leave any chunk of egg it is going to stick to your cheese sticks and then you're gonna have a chunky mess so you have to make sure you blend them really good hi lara the dogs are doing good they're over there being pains in the boots they got all, they got their Christmas stockings. They got all, I can't say the T word. They got so many T words. T-R-E-A-T-S. If I say that word, they're going to come running over here. No, 110 people in here to watch me. They're waiting on me, but. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are going to watch Ray cook the cheese sticks right here in a minute. I just got to show him what to do first. I got to let the less blessed kids go. Oh my them. God. We're going to see who's come out better. I definitely just wanted to show y'all first how to actually make them because I don't know if his are going to come out a disaster or what. No, I haven't started any exercise for one. Uh, keto, I, I lose weight pretty fast and I just want to show. We're making I, keto cheese sticks. That I can lose the weight really fast with just keto. And not only that, I mean, I do stuff around the house and all that, but right now it's more just doing the keto and one we barely have time for a lot of stuff so yeah we, guys to be honest i've been off of exercising the past couple weeks just because we've been so busy but i'm pushing hard once we start our the keto with sammy the new year challenge i'm definitely pushing the workouts this year like bad like that's one of my new year's resolution is to definitely stay on track with working out because i'm always on and off yes that means that you get 14 recipes for one week so seven lunches and seven dinners it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> we need some cooking with Ray merch. Merch. Oh my yes, god. Yes, if you can, please push the like button. Oh and my if god. You subscribe. Subscribe. Oh god. Okay, so we got these eggs blended really well. You really have to take your time and do that. So that's pretty much it. We're about to get started. They're not hard to make. You definitely just have to prep ahead of time. <clears throat> All right, babe, you're gonna have to hold this so we can point it this way. It's too wobbly. It's the same. We need ours. I know, but we're just gonna work with what we got right now. Cause you oh, can listen to me. This way. She, well, the mic is the wrong yes. way. I'm pretty sure they can hear me. No, then we should use a double-sided mic. Oh. Okay. Let me point it over here real quick. Can y'all hear her good? Can y'all hear me good? Just let me know. It's a directional mic. You're really supposed to talk in the front. Well, you gotta see where we're pointing at over here. <laughs> That's your fault. There's Ray with his grand entrance. <laughs> I told her a while ago we should use the gimbal and we could have used that and there would have been no wobbling or nothing in the video. I'm gonna hold it here in a bit anyway so he could um, uh, make his. But okay, so we have our pan right here, right? We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. So the trick with these cheese sticks is you gotta cook it on low. You cannot have these really high because almond flour burns really fast. So you gotta make sure it's on like a low to medium heat. You don't wanna overdo it because they say you can hear both very well. Yeah. Um, you don't wanna overdo it because almond flour burns very quickly. So I've learned to just keep it on a low, take it slow. We're going in with some avocado oil. I kind of switch 
between avocado oil and olive oil but avocado oil is best just because it has a higher like um burning point so i go in with some avocado oil what's up guys you gotta put a good amount because we gotta cook these cheese sticks in here So we're gonna get this all nice and heated through. Put a good amount in here. You I'm gonna let this heat through just a little bit. What do you think? I would definitely not do it with coconut oil because you're gonna have, so a lot of people think cooking with coconut oil, you know, it's fine. I personally do not like it. I prefer it more in desserts because you will taste that coconut taste. Like they'll taste different. So to me, I don't really like using coconut oil for these kinds of things, but I just recommend avocado oil. Says, so how are you feeling, Ray? No, I'm feeling good. He's feeling fine. He's doing better. After that, his second COVID shot, he was sick for a little bit. Yeah, I was sick for like just about a week. Nothing but headaches, like bad. Headaches, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're heating this through. Now for our cheese sticks, you have to have your cheese string completely frozen. I left mine in overnight just in case, just to make sure. Yeah, coconut oil leaves a hint of sweetness. But you have to make sure your cheese string is completely frozen because if it's not frozen as you cook it, it's just going to completely melt everything and be a complete mess. Thank you. What is it? Sil Sylvia? Sylvia. Sylvia. There you go. You don't know that? I can look at that name. It, Ray, it's R-E-Y. That's the way you spell his name. Because yeah. his real name is Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Like Ronaldo. Waldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. So it's R-E-Y. I'm just letting this heat through a little bit. I like to keep my cheese sticks in the freezer while I'm doing all this so they don't get softened. So I'm going to get them here in a bit. Since starting keto, how are you feeling? No, I'm feeling good. He's feeling good. He definitely gets more energy. I think it was just like the first was really the Yeah, COVID. the coke. Uh, the coke. The, and then you get keto flu. The coke, yes. I was doing so much coke. It was so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, was he gets the keto flu in the beginning a little bit. But we try, we try to keep him hydrated. Lard pork fat is okay on keto. Yes, it is. Um, definitely save your bacon grease. That's what I used to do a lot in the beginning too. I used to make a lot of bacon and eggs. You know, that's like the staple of breakfast when you first start keto. And I would save my bacon grease in little jars and as a cheap cooking grease, so I wouldn't have to buy like avocado oil or olive oil. I would just cook all my meats in bacon fat. And it adds really good flavor too. Oh, I've heard of that coconut oil. Okay, maybe I can try that one. <laughs> they want me to start cooking. Okay. Hurry up. Okay, I'm going. Let me get my cheese sticks. Stay right Remember, there. Remember, we got supposedly an hour, but this is what we got. Okay. Let me show y'all. So we got, I got four frozen cheese strings right here. Completely frozen. We're going to work fast. You got to work fast with these. So point right here. First thing you want to do, you're going to take your cheese string. We're going to dip it into our egg mixture. Coat it both sides. We're going to go ahead and double dip, I mean double coat, double dip. We're going to go ahead and put in the almond flour all sides. You see how it's still not completely covered? So we're going to go back into the egg mixture and coat it again. All right, babe, go to the oil. Now it's completely mm -hmm. covered. So when you set these down, leave them there. Do not touch them. I figured this out too. Do not touch them. Let them cook and crisp on one side. While that's going, we're gonna go ahead and start on the other ones very quickly. Are you following the steps? Because I'm not gonna tell you again. <laughs> I get that. It's just the boys have me over there whenever you're putting the cups and all that. Oh, I already did all that. It's gonna be this is gonna be your mixture. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not fun. I was supposed to make it from scratch. Oh. Wow. Well. It's supposed to be like, yeah. Okay. My oil needs to get hotter. Okay, coating. Is it on it? I can't even really see it. Yeah. I gotta wash my hands. It gets all messy.
Okay, so little tip trick with these, you gotta let them cook because if you move them too fast, all this is gonna completely fall off. So we're gonna let them sit there and cook. Let me read the comments right here. That's where I went wrong. I didn't double dip and probably move it. Yeah, you can't move them. No. <laughs> no, we're not making a cheese a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Hollywood, Florida. Nice. No, I do not take any vitamins. The only thing I really do is like collagen and MCT oil. Ooh, tamales. I love me some tamales. Cheesecakes. <laughs> I guess that's like, uh, you can confuse that, like cheese sticks, cheesecakes. You said something about the gas. No, it's on. Yeah, look, they're going. I didn't let it, I didn't let it heat up too much. There it goes. Let's show them. We got it. They're cooking slowly. Was I super worried about Ray having COVID? He was, yeah, I was. It was like, because at one point I was like, oh, he got this, you know, it won't be too bad. And then he started getting really bad. And I was I like, couldn't breathe. yeah, I was like, oh, he's so far. It's like, it was like a good thing and a bad thing. It was a good thing that he wasn't here at home because we have the boys and me. And he was just by himself secluded in a hotel. But on the other hand, you know, I do have a video on some keto tamales back in my older videos. If y'all do want to check those out. We haven't got the booster shot, but the second shot it left my arm really sore too. Okay, so I'm letting these settle. So as they're cooking, you're gonna see browning on the side and then that's when you flip them. But what I do is like I roll them because you gotta be very careful. So it looks good. These are his favorite. He always wants me to make them and I'm like, okay. No, she's like, why? <laughs> why? Make them? Ray is gonna. And I rarely ask her to make them. Yeah, Ray's gonna cook some more right now. But I, a lot of people ask, like, a lot of people were commenting and saying that they don't know how to make the cheese sticks. So I personally just wanted to show y'all how to make them, like, the way I do it, because I didn't know if he was gonna mess them up or what. We gotta show y'all the good and the bad. <laughs> That's funny. These are very quick to make, too. Oh, they smell so good. Look. Are y'all a ranch or marinara kind of person for these? Ray loves the ranch. 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 Unless it's real chunky marinara, not the little boo-boo. You can cook them in the, uh, the air fryer, but I feel like the oil just adds just like that extra like i don't know how to explain it because the air fryer kind of makes them be more dry like that's what i'm getting okay babe marinara all the way see i love marinara me and my husband have been together eight years we're going on nine years in march unfortunately that's what I use. So I use the mixture for the um, for the cheese sticks. It's a mixture, a whole bag of pork rinds mixed within with one cup of almond flour, some shredded Parmesan, and some seasonings. Yeah, everything is better in oil. How did your parents meet? Like my parents, like my mom and, and dad? Y'all know he's my half dad, right? <laughs> a lot of people think he's my real dad, but he's not. He's my half dad. Have a yeah, I just don't call him stepdad. I don't know. I just feel like it's like, I don't know, disrespectful. Okay, so this is browning on the side. So what I'm going to do is slowly just like turn them. You got to be very careful. Look, this one's already melting. Sometimes I get them perfect, guys, and I'm not perfect all the time. Yeah, we know. But I try the best I can with these. Cause I'm not even gonna lie, these are probably one of the hardest things that I've cooked as like an appetizer, keto wise, or cheese sticks. <laughs> My parents, uh, they've known each other since middle school, I wanna say. So they've known each other for a long time. They're like mutual friends.
Oh no, see this one melted and then these did it. Because I think it's just because in the middle. It gets hot in the middle. So I'll cook them on the edge. She's normal, she makes mistakes. Too. I make mistakes. Have to add a little bit, yeah. Yes, I did completely freeze them first. They're completely frozen. Yes, you can do them in the air fryer. I just feel like they're gonna be a little bit more dry. Hi, Nancy. I hope you're feeling better, Nancy, or getting better. What's up, Nancy? She has COVID. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I thought okay, she Okay, look. The oven, nope. Look. So they're done. That's how quick and easy. Nice and browned. I put them on a paper towel so we can drain off the grease. They're not gonna be all completely perfect. Sometimes they look really good like these and then sometimes they come out like this. I don't know what happened to this one. This one completely like melted. I think it's because I put it in the middle. So I would probably just put it around like the edges to where it doesn't get too hot. No way. Hold on, let me skip some of this. So even with like the oil, you gotta be careful if you're making them in a big batch, you wanna make sure you take all like this excess out because it'll burn. And then it'll make all the cheese sticks have like a burnt taste. There's definitely a lot of like little tricks you gotta do with these cheese sticks. You just should throw that in your videos. So they you gotta, know. well see I've kinda learned over the years since making that video. We gotta remake the video. Yeah, now. we gotta remake the video. Put it okay. in the comments. Something. But look, they look so good. Woo! Now it's Ray's wow. turn. That one looks good. How many siblings do I have? So I have a lot. I have I have with my real dad, I have two sisters, two brothers. With my mom, I have three sisters and me. And then with my stepfather, he has I have two sisters and one brother with him so it's a whole combination of like a lot and I'm the oldest out of everybody and we're kind of all over the place okay so now it's Ray's turn yeah. you saw what I did right let me keep this on a low before this oil burns before he gets to it I want my up. oh they're in the freezer <laughs> let me get them I'll get them here you go frozen cheese sticks I'm not going to say nothing, guys. Let's watch this. You should have let me do it. You should have let me mix all this right here. Sorry. I didn't think about it at first. Because yeah. I was trying to show them how to make them the first. Egg and all that. Because this is just literally just covering the thumbnail thing. We're going to have to put a better one in this. We'll do another cooking sh uh, one next week, too. What? What? Yeah, we're doing another cooking one next week. Who votes doing? for Ray cooking next week too? Um, we'll make an even harder recipe than this. That it's like, that's literally me just coating it and throwing it. In. You still like, gotta cook them. Like okay, but look, I messed this one up. So let me see you. He's I gonna mess all of them up. Everybody's saying yes. No. No. He said no. Look at him waiting. So he's no. gonna melt all of these. <laughs> Look, look what he did. What? Nothing. Oh Ray, you're making tacos. Cooking with Ray. Making tacos. We're making some keto cheese sticks. So I made some over here. Look at these. Oh, I want to try one already. Try it because it's, it's very fresh. Oh, yeah. This is almond flour. So usually I can you can sprinkle some like Parmesan cheese on here again too. I use four eggs. Right. Um, hold on, babe. Wait. I'm going to go ahead and try one. I got some low carb marinara. Mm. Yes, let me just start to finish. You don't have no more stuff to do start to finish? Yeah. We do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, Ray's going to do start to finish. But you just put those in the eggs. Do we have more? No, they're not frozen. Well, what do we do with those? Just do it. Well, they want to see start to finish. You got to give them what they want. And, uh, did you touch these? <laughs> I don't remember. Babe, go. <laughs> Touch. It's going to melt. Yes, we know this. No. Romantic dinner. Ray is not romantic. I'm sorry. No, Somebody said, "Get your hands dirty, boy." <laughs> Look at it. 
What? I dip it again, right? I can do that? Yeah. What? I'm asking, I don't know. Yeah. I thought you said something He's struggling. <laughs> That's what they said. So he just watched me this whole time well, and he I still don't remember. Focus on wobbly ass camera he said Ray Stolly. I don't know. Ray does not like, he likes ground beef sometimes. It depends. Like if it has any fat in it or like a hard piece, he does not like it. Ray is stalling. Ray is Ray a germaphobe? He kind of is. Exactly. I would say in a way. Especially at work. He's OCD reminds me. Yeah, he Especially definitely he is. Hot like mess that. express. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Look at him. He's making him. What? What? Look at my fingers. <laughs> You're like me in the kitchen. Definitely OCD. Oh no, I'm getting it with the dog. Oh my god, <laughs> the dog is eating the almond flour. That's the dry flour too. Is Ray trying to keep his hands, getting his hands dirty? What does Ray like to eat? Cheese. Food. <laughs> Cheese. <sighs> See, and y'all wanted him to do the whole thing. Look at this. This is clumpy. <laughs> Watch out. He said watch out like I'm his way. <laughs> what the? Boy, it's gonna be good. Come on, Ray, you got it. You can do it. Can you imagine him making the keto chicken fried steak? No. Hey, that's a good idea. No. Move puppy, you're fixing to get egg all over. Look at them. She's like, let me this guy drops everything. <laughs> that's what they're waiting for. Go, Ray. Go wash my hands. Ray's washing his hands. Guys, he's going to take way too long and these are going to melt everywhere. What? What? Move. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I told you, you got to move quick. I am. I don't want... I just wash my hands. I don't want to fall in and pop. Oh, I put that one in there? I don't know. Oh, see? The water's falling and it's popping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go back on your side. What? It's good. It don't look too bad. They look clumpy. It doesn't matter. Mine look good. Let me eat this another one. Put them on a plate or something. Put them on the plate so we can compare them. Mine look the same as yours. No, I don't. Well, they look better, but still. This is so good. Oh no, it's peeling off. Oh my. Yeah, we had dinner. We got Chick Fil A on the go. I got a Cobb salad with no corn. Ray got um a grilled chicken, <laughs> Cobb salad with no bun, and we put it on Sola. Move it out the middle, Ray. You got it. You got it. Oh my. <laughs> He's so mad. I don't know. That looks. That one looks okay. I know. Look at that, it fell like it's naked. <laughs> oh, it's naked. Oh my god. You're moving on too much. Be quiet. <laughs> I know he mad, look at him. He ruined his cheese sticks for dinner. <laughs> they put, he can't even hold them tongs. <laughs> the tongs like chopsticks <laughs> that yeah babe those look so good I know <laughs> you gotta tell me you look at that no one. I haven't tried that milk at least I didn't do that one yet or boxes hey <laughs> I didn't do that <laughs> I have to separate mine look these are hers these are mine right here mine. these are right Oh no. No, my family does not give me a hard time about keto because most of them do it too. Like chopsticks. You got I'm just gonna leave that on. No, hold on. <laughs> he doesn't know where to put what? it. Baby, there's a little thing right there. How does how does this You gotta this close thing? the tongs. You gotta pull the end of it so they can close. Pull that. Weird. Jesus Christ. Anyways. 
Where's the little brown cream, I mean green thing I can sprinkle on to make it look nice? Where's it at? Oh wait. <coughs> look, you just left this all dirty. Let's see you dirty. Look at that. I couldn't go to the trash. <laughs> you gonna smell burnt, man. He's leaving the stove on. Be quiet. He's leaving the stove on. Oh. What are you doing? You're scraping my pen. Whatever. Oh my god. It's okay. Just leave it. We're gonna clean that later. You said you gotta clean it up. There's no more cheese sticks. You messed them all up. I didn't mess them up. They look good. Okay, so these are race cheese sticks. <laughs> they look pretty good. Look. This one looks better than this one. Look at that. It's like melted. No, show them. No, don't be blocking it. Look at that. It looks all... That was only one. You messed up all of them. This is not messed up. What, what is this? Oh. <laughs> That's good. This is perfectly... Look at that. Magnificent right there. <laughs> Where's the green stuff? I got to throw it on there. The green stuff? I'm not done. Right. We'll throw this on there. Throw a little bit more. We got the hard one. The hard one? Yeah, is that the one you want or you want powder? Just... We can do powder. Oh, both. Look at him. Both. Gordon Ramsay over here. Where's the green stuff? The green stuff? The <laughs> parsley? Yeah. Parsley's over there. This in here? Yeah. Ray doesn't know where nothing is in the kitchen, I'm telling y'all. Parsley flakes. At all. This is going to look way better than yours. Hmm. What does parsley add? It adds beautifulness. It adds color. Look at that, it's nice. <laughs> Let them know it's official look. She said, boy, parsley ain't gonna help those cheese sticks. It helps. <laughs> yeah, it did, Daisy, look. <laughs> Looks beautiful. He said, where's the green stuff? Go ahead, try your cheese sticks. So we got some low-carb marinara right here, too. This is the one that I like to use. I actually get this one at H-E-B. I've actually been really liking it. It's the no-sugar added. And it's way cheaper than Rails. It's only like $2. Hold on. I'm going to post this on your page. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, my Don't God. You ain't posting nothing on my page. Yes, it adds beautifulness. <laughs> look. Watch. Get the food, food filter on this one. That food filter definitely not going to help that. Let's see. They're going to think I made that. Give me my cheese stick. Yeah, move your cheese sticks out of here. They ugly. <laughs> we gotta put on a different plate too. I don't want to do anything. There you go. The paper plate. <laughs> Look. I thought he was gonna get a nice plate out. Oh, I got this. They said have him tell us the recipe again. So what was the recipe, baby? Because I want to know. Your chicharrones, cheese. <laughs> Almond flour, garlic, oregano, salt, some salt, parmesan cheese, black pepper. What else? Avocado oil. Yeah. Yeah. I need some leaves or something like that. Some leaves? Make it look better. Yeah. Some leaves. I think you got some kind of leaves in here. Okay. Some kind of leaves? I actually do. The oh, bay God. leaves. Babe, you don't put bay leaves. Oh, no, those are too ugly. <laughs> That's not fresh. He said I got to put some leaves on here. It makes it look nice. Some lettuce or something. Some lettuce? Something make it look better. You ain't making those look better. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got a mess in here. You ready going to the backyard to get leaves? Yes. What are you trying to do? Take a... Nice picture? Yeah, it's gonna look good, I'll tell you. He said, they said, get some lettuce for garnish. Yeah, over here. I don't know where he's going, y'all. Over here. He's really trying to take a picture. It's gonna look good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, call, we're gonna post this picture yeah. on my page, on my Facebook page. Uh, look at that. Look. It's nice. Looks good. Looks like some good, good ass mozzarella sticks. Oh my gosh. They said cilantro. Let me see. Let me do it one more. Like this. They say eat them while they're hot. I am. Huh? 
You kind of hid all the bad sides, so yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. They said, did he turn the stove off? Yes. He yeah, did. he actually actually did. I was waiting for it. It's the presentation for me. <laughs> the ranch is falling. <laughs> oh, it is falling. <laughs> His paper plate. That's nice. Don't post it, watch. Post it right now. Kid was Just like the ma- a man sprucing up his car. <laughs> it's the paper plate that makes it good. Yeah. Did you really just post it? Well, I'm fixing to post it on your page. You know? <laughs> These are his favorite. Like, this is like his go to. Like, every time he asks me for something, it's cheese sticks. We have the marinara on the side, but he likes ranch. Yeah, we have marinara. Oh, yeah. May- Hold on, let me add both of them. For the picture. For the picture. Y'all say hi. All the little doggies are here. Bella. They're like, what are y'all doing? Bella's just waiting for food. The kiddos are watching TV in their room. They're just playing with their toys, all their Christmas toys. They're playing with their Christmas toys. <laughs> You're just concentrating so hard. Guys, subscribe if y'all have not already. You gotta taste them, they said, if they're good. Guys, look at that. Oh. Love it leaves. Let me try it. Oh man. <laughs> Wait, pick it up again. No. Pick it up again. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Don't toss it to the side. <laughs> he doesn't like glass. He doesn't like real plates. He only uses paper plates and he only uses plastic utensils. He does not like metal. I'm pretty good. You're lying. You were so lying. Look at that face. No. I just look at it. No, show them. What? Show them the bread. Good. You don't even get breading on there. I'll put that I'll put that bread on catfish. <laughs> we can never find a good restaurant. Okay, what is y'all's favorite ranch? Because we can never find a good restaurant style ranch. They're falling apart. Guys, look at this. Look. Done. It came, it came off and then the cheese string is not even completely melted. How you do that little bow down there? He's double dipping. Oh, this is mine. This ain't hers. Look at that. Trust me, I have a thing with double dipping. Anytime I eat somewhere, I'm just like, oh no, you can have that one. They said those chicken strips look bomb. Oh yeah, thanks man, I appreciate it. Oh my god. What's a habit burger? What is that? Mm. Th- that color plate is not gonna help no more. They don't have like a bow down thing. Are you are you posting it? I'm trying to. <laughs> I want to be like a little bow down kind of emoji. Look at the dogs waiting. Look at Linky. She's like, what wow. are y'all doing? Bella. So, rate yourself 1 out of 10. One, last 10, it's like... 10? Like, so, if I were to bring you these cheese sticks... Oh, well, you know. You're <laughs> lying. You're so yeah. lying. You'd be like, what did you do? It you look better than yours. You... Oh, my... God. <laughs> it's all floppy. <laughs> oh, no. So, Primal Kitchen, yeah, they do have a ranch, but it has, like, that, um... Look. What does it have? It has, like, that... Oh, what's it called? The apple cider vinegar kind of taste to it. I think that's what it is. Oh. At least he tried. Yeah, see, that's why I make the cheese sticks first to show y'all really how to make them. Yeah. Bella's gonna throw hands because we're making fun of her man. Yeah, definitely. Girl, you want some she girl? fights me all day, guys. She's so jealous. It's funny. He's really eating these. Because they're good. I'm telling you. Girl, I hate her. Yeah, I'm a hater. You're just a hater. I give you, I give you A for effort. Yep. <laughs> but y'all definitely make these cheese sticks now y'all know how to make them because i had a lot of people comment in saying that they didn't know how to make them what was the best way that is the best way that i have figured you out let me do it from scratch, though. okay i'm sorry but i was trying you you told me to but, show no, them i told you to have everything like ready as in okay get you your own shop though Ooh, ken's ranch see uh, i do like their ranch i do not like their butter their buttermilk ranch He's yeah, showing y'all his cheese good. stick. Good. 
Hidden, yeah, see all those wrenches, they're good. You just have to have them in moderation because they have hidden stuff in them. But Ken's Ranch is good. Ken's Ranch, I was like, I love Ken's Ranch, but when I tried their buttermilk, I was like, no. Man. Their buttermilk, Man. what are you drinking? Coke Zero, he has Coke Zero. So, look at my cheese sticks. They came out so pretty, guys. No, the other one's all floppy. Somebody had my back. I know y'all seen that, that boo-boo cheese stick that she had got. The boo-boo cheese stick. Look at it. That's look at this. Now I gotta clean all this. You can't even tell, look. You can't even tell it's a cheese stick. What, this cheese stick? <laughs> look, show them. What? This is the one I messed up that was in the middle. Look at that. That's not even cheese. All mine, or at least cheese stick. Okay, but all of uh, yeah. only one of mine was messed up, and majority wow. of yours was peach fresca. Who got presentation? Though? Presentation. And best taste. Yeah, most of those uh, ranches have soybean oil. Peach fresca. No, he had regular fresca. That's funny. I didn't know they had that. Ray, you done good. Sam is queen. She can't do no wrong. See? Yep. Whatever. See, That's yesterday, said. yesterday we had um, a vote on my Facebook page to who y'all liked better, me or Ray. Me. I won. I'm good. And y'all were all, what were they calling us, Remy or Remy? Remy. That's funny. But he used the leaves. <laughs> all right, guys. That was funny. But thank y'all so much for joining in. Okay, what would y'all want to see next week where he cooks? Y'all comment. I want to see what he was going to cook. I make myself go to work so I ain't got to do all that. <laughs> you trying to find excuses? Why don't you sit down over here so you can just sit down? <laughs> the leaves, though. So from now on, we're calling parsley leaves. So anytime y'all see me in my recipe videos and I say leaves, a lot of y'all are going to know why. Yeah, come over here so you can sit down. Okay. He's telling me to go sit down so he can enjoy his, um, <clears throat> his cheese sticks. So what do y'all want to see next Let's week see. for him cook? Hold on. I'll hold it. I'm setting up my light. For the... <laughs> What's up, guys? Delicious. I should make my own channel. Anyways, that's too bright. That light's too bright. Oh, it is bright. Guys, we got lights set up all around our house. You know, when you got YouTube, you gotta have lights everywhere. Cannoli cheesecake recipe. Ray is definitely not gonna be making that, but oh, I can really? definitely look into it for you. <clears throat> He's just mad now. It's okay. No, it's his oh, first man, time. <laughs> He's actually good. really proud. Yeah, I am. I'm happy. <laughs> Yep. You did great for your first That's the attempt. So the recipe is I have a video on the keto mozzarella cheese sticks hey, already back. back in my odor videos, but the only thing I did different this time, I'll post it for y'all. I'll probably make a post like in the community section. I'll just type out the recipe for y'all. Um just in case anybody misses it. So look out for that post. I'll just type out the recipe for y'all because I kind of changed it up. The only thing I changed up was I added chicharrones. And back in my older video, I don't do that. Yeah, Bash is definitely Ray's twin. Mm-hmm. Ray is techie, Sammy is the cook, definitely. I'm what? You're the tech guy. Tell him to make a cash roll. Yeah, sorry for this video. It could have been a lot better. But we have a gimbal. I told Sam, <clears throat> let's use it. She's like, no, no. And then. Quesadillas? Then it was like a minute after. We have a quesadilla maker. We mm -hmm. have a quesadilla maker that we've only used like once. You can find them on every flea market in the world, I swear. <laughs> For real. Meatballs no with keto pasta. Ray hates meatballs. Right? No. Or he doesn't like them too big. No. Yeah, I don't like them like. Huge. Yeah, he doesn't like red sauce. That's why he barely eats marinara. I uh, know, that's a lie. See, she, she be lying all the time. Look, the thing is, I like chunky, real sauce. Like, chunky, you get real chunky of, like, vegetables and stuff in there, tomatoes. Merch. That's where's, good. Merch, where's the green that's stuff? Good. Oh, we should do that shirt. Where's the green stuff for your merch tea? Yeah, but I don't have money, though. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. Where's the green stuff? Have him make a pizza bowl since he loves to eat that. Maybe. Yeah. We will definitely figure it out. Toast and butter. <laughs> Toast and butter. He probably won't even be able to make that, I swear. Ray, can you make some tacos? 
empanadas. He don't even know what that is, I promise. Yeah, it is a little puffy thing. What little puffy thing? No, no. Oh, it's over here. My bad. Same thing. Just a, <laughs> it's sweet. You don't even know what empanadas are. Have Ray make keto fried chicken tenders, maybe. Enchiladas. Where's Chris? Chris Buñuelos. Oh, y'all are like bringing all the cravings out. What's wrong with y'all? You know, we gotta make those regularly. I, I bet Ray can make a mean grilled cheese. He actually does. I do. That is literally the only thing for he real. has ever cooked for me. And it was good. He would burn the house down with Buñuelos. <laughs> sushi. He doesn't like sushi. I love sushi. Mm. Oh, I love sushi. Talk about crunch wrap. I've actually made one of those before. It was really good. I used to hate Taco Bell. When I didn't do keto, I I didn't like Taco Bell, but it's it's really good. But yeah, that'll be good. We'll have him do another one <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> he finished all his cheese sticks. Show I'm me. not done. So I'm still I'm eating them though, cause they delicious. Made by Chef Me. They look all crumbly. Loaded nachos with Hilo chips. Did you like those Hilo chips? I'm he doesn't really like them. I don't like most. It's because they're made with almond flour. So like the serving size is really good. You just can't eat too many of them. And then they get all dry. Nachos using chicharrones. Yeah, we'll come up we'll come up with something. It'll be really good. Maybe and if y'all go to the page and y'all post it, post some things y'all want to see cooked and the most likes. On what page? My Facebook? Yeah. You got to tell them. Facebook page. Facebook page. And put the most <laughs> likes, then yeah, then then that's what basically I, I could make. Yeah. And this is like some hard. Like, Maybe I'll do house. I'll do like a little poll before Tuesday on what to make. We'll kind of decide like between two or something. We'll do YouTube too, kind of put yeah, it on there. Yeah, on the something, poll. Something we can do. <clears throat> if y'all don't follow me on Facebook, I'll post it on YouTube too. Not a lot of people have Facebook. Keto meatloaf, he would gross out. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> Guys, anything with like a big abundance of meat, he grosses out. Did y'all see his other video, like of my video that I have on YouTube of him cooking dinner? It was a keto, what was it, a Kung Pao chicken well, and yeah. some cauliflower fried rice. Y'all should have seen him. It was the best I ever had, I tell you that. <laughs> y'all should have seen him chopping up the chicken. He does not like to touch like meat with his fingers. He, he was wearing gloves. They weren't even cooking gloves. Oh, so like the, the picture that y'all see in the thumbnail, he's putting on work gloves. I'm a work gloves. But they work just fine, I tell you that. <laughs> and he was chopping up the meat. He's like, oh, this is gross. <laughs> oh, what? He, slimy? He doesn't like meat. It's funny. Um, so like videos for HUB, -E um, they kind of rotate them out. Uh, so like they they left it up there for like two months. It was really good I got a lot of people like I get a, I get recognized a lot of HEB and then they kind of rotate them out for the holidays right now They have like some professional um, Video up there like doing a holiday. I can recognize thing. you around here all the time You lying. I do. They'd be like, oh, that's keto with Sammy's husband. No, that's because I grew up here <laughs> Yeah, guys, I didn't grow up here. So I don't know nobody here so I feel all famous whenever y'all recognize me over there in stores. I'm like, oh, somebody knows me over here. <laughs> he grew up here, so he knows everybody here. I didn't. I grew up in San Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio. That's where I'm from. Got everybody over here. What flag is that? Um, I think that's the Salvadorian. No, I don't think nobody recognized my, my parents. I don't think so. No, because they would tell me. I think it's Salvadorian flag. If I didn't know disrespect if I got it wrong. Cause I oh, know thank you. Everybody would get mad if Latinos. What H-E-B do you work at? Like, do you work at the one here in Baytown? Mary, make your favorite dessert or main meal. Yeah, we'll do that. Cheesecake is my favorite. Cheesecakes are the, the mini cheesecakes. You want to make those? That's my favorite dessert. I don't know, guys. So when I do like my lives. Oh, that'll take a long time, right? Yeah, so when I do my lives, I try not to make really long recipes because then I feel like it'd be way too long for y'all. Yeah. So I try to make stuff that are like quick and easy, something very simple for y'all to enjoy because if I just put a whole like big dinner on live, I feel like it would be long. I don't know if it's just me. I don't want y'all to like sit there forever. <clears throat> but his favorite desserts are those little mini cheesecakes. I do have a video on those too. They're so good, guys. And they're so easy to prep. 
like he can prep them for the week that's usually what i do for him like especially when he first first gets into keto i kind of prep desserts for him and one of the, the cheesecake one is the main one and you can just keep them in the fridge <clears throat> corpus christi Corpus I haven't Christi. been to Corpus Christi in so long. A shout out to Juan from Corpus Christi. <laughs> my boss, one of my superintendents. One of his bosses. My baby right there. Oh my god. My best friend, one of my best friends. So are you good? You enjoyed your cheese sticks? Yeah, they're good, delicious. You should have some, but I ain't gonna waste them like that. I'm gonna eat the rest. Can you make those carnival stuffed corn dogs? Why don't you try it? Oh, I've you seen know, those. You should try it. See how good I it. try it. Because that's the point. You gotta try and see how good, see how what you've been missing all your life. You know, just try it. Okay. Well, let me just grab my other breading and put it on here. Hello, California. <laughs> With the red. Well, I definitely get, didn't get the string effect. You didn't have to. That's that's perfect. You have to play with it everywhere. You're good. I don't know about these. I think mine are better. That's a lie. Look at it, it's mushy. No, <laughs> you waited too long. <laughs> I'm just playing, babe, they're good. Yeah. But you should let me make it, too. Georgia mm. West, no, George West, Texas. What's up? Sil that's the Sylvie. Y'all hear Bella? She knows we're eating, so she's over here crying to get up. Corn dog. I miss hot dog on a stick. Corn dog sounds so good. They got uh, Bucky's. They got that. Uh, I don't know where you're from. The sausage on a but stick. But Bucky's right? got sausage on a stick, and a lot of people like that. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, Ray, are you off until you pick another job? Yeah. So like. With his job, since he works in the refineries, around yeah. like November, December, the jobs kind of go down. Yeah. And then they'll pick back up in January. February. There's some jobs, some small jobs. I mean, there's jobs I can, I get offered small jobs, but uh, sometimes they're just not really. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. So I just, I rather uh, take the bigger jobs that are, I guess, out of town because that's where the money's at right now. You can get better. I, I don't want to work no 40 hour job. Miss here. I do make chaffles. I don't make them often though. I'm not like the type of person to really prep them. But I like them for breakfast for like, I mainly like them for breakfast sandwiches. Or I like to make like waffles and stuff. Ooh, carnival food is the best. Let me see Bella. Bella. Bella, she's your color over there. Bella. Come here, Bella. Hi, it's San Antonio. All right, guys, we are meeting our time point. But thank y'all so much for joining on in on this live. We'll definitely do um, a better recipe um, next week for him to try. Well, I can actually do it now. Yeah, so he can do it from the beginning. Because that was the point. She was like, you need a whisk. She's telling me before I started. You need a whisk of eggs. And then she already did it for me. That's <laughs> Sorry. But it, he did good still. Laughing my ass off at her extra breading. No, room. I'm not jumping off. Bagel bombs. What's up, Poofy? Since oh yeah, that sounds really good. Babe, do you like fathead dough? Fat He's head. iffy on fathead dough because like I've given the pizza with fathead dough and I absolutely love it, but I'm so used to it. I just, to me... There's I, a lot of things you got to get used to. It like, feels like at the very bottom, it's kind of like, it's a weird... It's a weird texture. Like slime, not slimy. Well, it's it's cheese. not slimy, it's just, I don't know, maybe something like that, like a harder slime kind of weird texture at the bottom and it's cheese um, with eggs and almond flour so it's definitely like different to get used to pizza in a bowl that's 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 what yeah I'm he doing. prefers pizza in a bowl thank you good night in san diego just seven year old he's my said poofy <clears throat> poofy. <clears throat> poofy can you send a shout out to my son we call him poofy. hello poofy hi hope you had a great christmas Hello in Washington. Bye, Chicago. Bye, Chicago. Thank y'all so much for joining on in. Washington. Poe and YouTube, keto lasagna. Oh, we'll miss you, Ray. Back to work. Yeah, I'm going to be sad when he goes back to work. Time flies so by, by so fast. We'll see. It could be this coming up month, maybe next month. Depending. Yeah, and when he's gone. So he used to not go out of town a lot. He just started going out of town a lot like this year. Yeah, I like thank you. Thank you. I'm glad y'all had a good time. And happy new year y'all stay safe on new year's we don't really tr 
we try not to go out like crazy on New Year's. We just go to his brother's house because y'all know my older son is autistic. So he's very sensitive with hearing. So yeah, New that. Year's, we don't do good with with him. And we don't really talk to much people. So really, my brother <laughs> is really who we Yeah, we go to his out. brother's house and we kind of, we have some really good headphones for him. And we kind of try to stay clear from New Year's for him. Thank you, Daisy. You're awesome. Good night. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much. Don't um don't forget we'll do the poll and y'all can go ahead and vote on what y'all want to see him cook next. Mm -hmm. But please shout out to Veronica uh, Ramirez. Comment. Thank thank you. I'm glad she enjoys my channel. Comment because last time you posted about the. Yeah, y'all need a comment so we can get some comments on there for the poll. Yeah, like one or two comments. Yeah, the last time we posted. Like, what did we post the last time? Oh, what they wanted me to make. Oh, yeah. We only mm. got like a few comments. So I didn't know what to make or I didn't know what y'all wanted to see. So y'all definitely vote when I, when I put it up. Um, I'll put it up probably. What should I put it up? You know what? They could just do it at the end of this video. So on this video, comment uh, what you want. And I guess whoever gets the most likes on it. On their comment, that's what it would do. Yeah. Then we'll let you know who got the most. Um, we haven't planned a wedding, guys. I'm sorry. She hasn't asked me to marry her yet, so. Yeah, we don't know. You know what it is? Like COVID too. It's just like, I don't know. It just messed everything up. Sorry you missed the video. You can definitely rewatch it, and then we'll be live again next Tuesday. Every Tuesday we're live at seven thirty. I'm fabulous. Ray is fabulous. I she said fabulous. Ray. I don't know who Ray but, is. Yeah, but Ray definitely. <laughs> That's she, that ain't no lie. <laughs> He's okay, I guess. Dang he yeah. did pretty good. He did pretty good. So now that you know how to make cheese sticks, I don't have to cook them. Why? Cause you know how to make them. You're right. If I want the, you right. If I want the best cheese sticks yeah, in the Yeah, right. World, He's saying that I'll right now. Myself. And then later on, in a couple of days, he'll be like, babe, just make them, babe. Yeah, just make them. It was 6.30 over here when it started. Oh, you probably have a time difference. You're an hour behind us. Where is that? I don't know. Because it's seven. it was 7.30 over when here. I was in... Awesome job. You lost 45 pounds. I'm proud of you. New what? Year's coming. Keep pushing. Yeah, 7.30 uh, hour behind us. I mean, 6.30. AZ, Arizona. Yeah, guys, if we do have a wedding, shh, my dress. Oh, I'll be so excited. You already know I'm going to go all out with the dress. I don't like big poofy dresses. I like the, the like, slim. She likes the one that shows revealing dresses. No, they're not. Basically. I like lace. I think lace is so pretty. Lace. Lace. Like you know what, it, Ray too, like, I feel like he's nervous for a wedding. He doesn't like to stand in front of people. I don't dance. He doesn't dance. I jiggle. <laughs> I just, I mean, I'm, I don't do that. <laughs> it's not for me. I don't like to be around a lot of people. Yeah, mermaid dresses are so pretty. Yeah, I don't like to be around. Everybody's like saying to make a pizza bowl. Yeah, we'll probably do a Yeah, we'll bowl. probably do a pizza we'll bowl. See. We'll see. We're not done yet. But that's not complicated enough because you're basically just throwing everything in a bowl. But yeah. he can burn it. I believe that. He I'm just jiggles. You just said I was going to burn the mozzarella cheese stick. You keep hating on me. Well, you told me I burn everything. Well, you do. One time in my life that I have cooked for him before we did keto, I burnt rice and he never forgets it. She did. True story. Good night. You jiggle after keto, so I'm, you won't jiggle after keto. Let me see. <laughs> Chicken crust. Oh, that would be gross. <laughs> Chicken crust pizza. I have a chicken so crust nasty. pizza video. When she made it and she was like, with the oh, barbecue? I didn't even try it. I was like, I am not trying this. That's <laughs> gross. And she was, ugh. It was, it smashed chicken for the crust. See, everybody else, like, I love ugh. it. It's so good. But he just looks at me and he's just like, no. He should just be a vegetarian, like I told him no, before. Because I like certain things. But I just can't see it. If I see Sam making something, see, I used to like turkey. Ray merch. I don't dance. I jiggle. Look, I, I used to. I used to like turkey a lot. And then I seen some put the the hand up the, the turkey. No, nah, that was bad. And now I really won't eat turkey. I only eat like really thin sliced turkey. Uh, but I won't eat turkey for Thanksgiving. Babe, what was the Gross first thing out. I've ever made for you when we first got together? What did I cook? I don't remember. 
First that was eight years ago, guys. Probably some Alfredo or something. Cause probably, because we used to make, I used to make a lot of Alfredo pasta, uh, enchiladas, chalupas. Okay, this is like everything we first ate, like when we didn't um, do keto. I would cook a lot of that. Okay, uh, so when I, about the steak, mean steak. I didn't eat steak for a while. Like, I was like, no, nah, I don't want no steak. People are like, you don't like steak. But then I started trying more, and I do like steak. And now I would actually get like a steak going out to a steakhouse. Because people used to make fun of me. He gets like, well done. You got chick. You know, I don't. I used to get with the. It's like beef jerky. People would laugh at me because I go to like a steakhouse and I want chicken strips. And chicken like, strips. You're not supposed to eat that, whatever. But then, you know, going out of town and everybody's eating. She's seen my video in the bitch in kitchen. <laughs> oh. You're not supposed to. Oh, sorry. That. He made. <clears throat> the school pizza, guys. I started like. Um, a video of. I had started a whole separate channel like in my old house of where I was making regular recipes but I only put out like five videos because I it was just too much like trying to it go back and lot. forth. Yeah, it was too much trying See? to do my keto channel and the other channel but that school pizza, bomb. That video got so many views, it's like ridiculous. Yeah, that's the most viewed video she had. I know, I don't even, yeah, I don't even have that many views on a video on this channel. Yeah. And that channel got like all the views, I was like what? Well, uh, anyways, back to my steak story. So, I've been going out a lot of people who, they love steakhouses and stuff. Okay, so, I we went to steakhouses and instead of me ordering well done, they're like, you need to try it like this, you need to try it like this. Well, I put, was it medium well, at least try that. And that's that's as low as I'm going to go when it comes to all that blood and all that. That's it. Say hi, pretty girl. Pretty girl. To my favorite dog. This is our, one of our oldest dogs. She is like 11 or 12 she's 12 she's already 12 the end of the year people think it's weird that i don't like steak <clears throat> i love steak it was too chewy and then i realized i was ordering wrong medium rare is a bit yeah i yeah. only get medium rare i used to get well done and then i tried it medium uh medium well and then they came out with me with a bloody bloody steak and I was like, that's not how I ordered it. Can you take it back? They took it back and then it came back well done and I was like, yeah, I do not like well done. Guys, you don't know how bad I feel so like if we go to like a friend's house and they cook something and I look at their meat, I'm like, oh, he's not going to eat that. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I like your burnt. I like my steak burnt. Oh, no. I love me a good steak. I haven't had steak in a, I actually haven't had steak in a while. Dion was here living with me and he that's all steak. that boy eats is steak. So he was always making steak, but it's so heavy. It's so heavy on you. So I try not to eat it too often. Yeah. It got to be well done. No, I can't do that. I gotta no. do medium rare. I won't do well done no more. That's just, it's chewy. Tastes, yeah, it tastes so much better. It's literally like beef jerky. Especially, I think whenever it was somewhere, a steakhouse in, in Tulsa where I went and they messed it up. And I was like, man, this is, I always get the best steak from this place. She's and then she's falling asleep. they, they like said, they made it well done, but I think it was like, well done, well done. They cooked it twice. <laughs> they cooked it twice. Real, They're making it fun of you, that's why. They're like, yeah. he wants a well done, we're gonna yeah. really do yeah, a well done. That's what done. they did. Oh my God. The only thing about me with dresses is I'm so short. I'm Maggie. only 4'11". There's Maggie. So I would definitely have to get like a mini dress. The name you couldn't say last week, Magdalene. 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 Oh, hi, Magdalene. Ray, do you like fish? He likes salmon. Yes. He likes yeah. catfish, right? But catfish, he only likes fried catfish. I he like, likes no, shrimp. I like, I like shrimp. I like catfish. I don't eat crab. I don't eat Ooh. oysters. Oh, I love eel. I don't eat... Uh, <sighs> I love eel. I, I love, love oysters. Eat little baby octopus. That's I'll eat octopus. I'll eat eel. I'll eat salmon. You're ill. Shrimp. Um, what are those oysters? I'll eat all of that. I love that stuff. Some raw. Some raw. Um, no. I love some raw fish. No. The pork rib eyes. Oh, I don't pork I rib eyes. Not eat no pork <laughs> rib. Or pork. Guys, I eat a lot of stuff, but if you put a face in front of me, I am not eating that. Yeah. Or some eyeballs? No. Yeah, no. I don't I don't like pork. I only like said bacon, but barely even like bacon. I wouldn't necessarily say to limit it. The only reason why I say it's heavy is because beef it takes a lot more it takes a lot longer to process through your body is what it is. But you can definitely still eat it. 
I love me shrimp some steak. Shrimp they make that? Ooh. Yeah, babe, it's like, sh it's like shrimp with bell peppers. Oh, like that, dude. Is that what you mean? I love like shrimp. shrimp. Like shrimp on the barbie's pretty good. Look at him. He got all happy. <laughs> well, I mean, I never heard of that. Who's on cleanup duty? I'm not. Y'all see all that almond flour on my floor? Now I gotta go mop and sweep. You, We're both doing it. We we'll usually both sweep clean it on together. The floor and the dogs will take care of it. <laughs> They're not gonna eat the almond flour and the egg. You're gonna eat some raw egg. Why not? They eat everything. Look at so. Bella. She's tired. <laughs> She's old, guys. Her face used to not be white, it was all tan. And now she's getting old. It's my pretty girl. This is his baby. This is who I fight with on the daily. Had it longer than Sam. And I will never trade her in. Oh my Lil god. Bella. She's such a hater, guys. She hates on me so much. It's funny. But when he's not here, she loves me. I just started back to keto from the holidays. I had had to have Oh, me too. Every time I have a treat meal, like I ha I love sushi. I can eat sushi like all the time. Well, we just ate keto chili yesterday. Oh, yeah. But that was pretty easy, too. I gotta give him something complicated. Uh, the steak tells you to stop donut when they're saying nothing. <laughs> that's true. Crab meat. Oh, that sounds good. Crab meat enchiladas. Want to I like any salad enchiladas. You should make a shrimp. You should do a video on like a, a what do you call it? Oh, yeah, my boys are quick. Hold on, guys. Like a, what do you call that? Seafood enchiladas. Yeah, we're almost done. Okay, What's okay. up, guys? I guess you're just with me. Any questions? The boys having a party. Yeah, the boys pop out and we gotta make sure. Yeah, the boys. The only reason why we don't let the boys come over here sometimes is because my boys are always in their, they're always like not completely dressed. They, they're here at home, so they're always relaxing, and they don't like to wear pajamas. So they're yeah, always as soon as like, they get home, they take off. All they take the off their clothes. And underwear all day. So that's why we don't really like for them to come in the camera because <clears> I don't, you know, put that on there. Thank you so much, Kathy. But all right, guys, it's getting late. We went way past our time. I had so I like to be on here just conversating with y'all. Keto with Ray now. We're not doing that, okay? Yeah. He has to be. He has to be committed for at It'd least be, over a year. Every time it's me and her. You got to hit over a year to it's have that. Remy every time. Oh every time God. we're together. Every time we're together, but our names I'm by are myself, Remy. It's King Ray. Team Remy. I guess we got to make a merch shirt that says Team Remy now. Team Remy, maybe. That'd be cute. Team yeah, Remy. Do that. Y'all want to see a merch shirt that it? says Team Remy? Who's gonna buy it? Put Team Remy. And I'll make that shirt. Make, Keto side dishes. So if I'll you go into tomorrow. my channel, I do have playlist um, that breaks it down. So I have like keto main dishes, keto desserts. If you look into my playlist, and they do, I do have like keto sides on there. What advice can you give someone who is just starting <clears throat> out with a keto cooking channel like myself? Consistency. Consistency. Literally, if you look in every video in the beginning of Sam doing it, I like, would put out video like okay, every day. A lot of research. Now, I research <laughs> tons of stuff. I'd be on hours on YouTube figuring out how I had to do this, what's the best way, microphone, lighting, everything. But basically, it was consistency is the main thing. Uh, Sam started posting more consistency or consistent. You got to stay did, consistent. She, that's when she started growing more. And the more you make, the more people know uh, you're going to be there every time to watch to be able to for them to have a video to watch and then mm. TikTok. so work on TikTok, do some TikTok videos it blew up sam probably about twice yeah you know? and you just refer them to your keto channel and that's what you do. where is my dad from so my dad's from san antonio but the reason it's because he's half korean his mom is korean and his dad is mexican but he's from san antonio um what was your question manny manny m-a-n-m-a-n-i I would not look great in a dress. What? <laughs> not just kidding. Grew up in a part of eleven. My wedding dress was lace. Oh, good. Oh, she's twenty. Oh, wow. Bella is. Um, yeah, oh, she's she like she did love already. that comforter. Oh but yeah, she did like that comforter. She loved it, and Sam really thought it was for her. She yes, kept, it was. She for kept me. telling herself that that was her blanket. It was like seventy something dollars. Sam's like, no, you. You guys, what's my favorite color? What color? I he's just such a hater. One for Bella, and you know what? Bella loves that. He's much. such a hater. I swear, he's always picking on me. That's what we do, though, all day. 
But yeah, so like my, um, yeah, he's my half dad. So he's, everybody thinks I'm like Korean when they look at my, my stepdad, but he's, I'm not. It's funny. I'm just Hispanic. <laughs> oh, boy. I was asking what do you guys do when you have temptations, when you have a slight sweet tooth or something bad. We have to prep ahead. So that's like what I tell everybody. Like if you know you're going to have a sweet tooth or you like easily give into something, you I definitely recommend to prep keto desserts. Keep them in your fridge. Go and buy some keto ice creams just to like keep in your fridge for those days. Do not binge on them because it's not going to help the situation. It's just when you're really craving something, definitely just have little things on hand. She does beat herself up though on like whenever she does the, the planned ones, it's good. But if she like before she would always do more of like, okay, I'm going to have me some. Oh, that looks so good. I want it. Yeah. And she would eat it and then she'd really beat herself up and she'd, I'm bloated, I'm bloated, I'm bloated. Mm -hmm. And she just. I don't know, but she don't do that as much anymore. Now it's more just, I mean, she let y'all know when she cheats, so y'all get it. Thank you, Lisa. <clears throat> you told us about your tattoos. How many Rays, how many tattoos does Ray have? Ray only has one big one. I got one tattoo. Yeah, and it's, and it's like, just like, it's an older just, tattoo. It's just right here, that's it. It's just like Houston tattoo. I asked him, like, when are you going to get my name <clears throat> tattooed? And he has to like... <laughs> mm, I'm just kidding. I get it on my butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, he only has that one big one, and then I have this one. So that's what that's what I told him. I was like, this year I'm filling out my arm. This if, I'm gonna right. show y'all some videos. I'm gonna get some new tattoos because <clears throat> I've been wanting to fill up my arm. I just haven't. So these tattoos moved ever since I've lost tons of weight. This tattoo, you weren't able to see it right here in the front. So ever since I've lost a lot of weight, they've definitely moved. So I've been holding off a little bit, but now I want to go. Um, I'm not Puerto Rican. Fill it up. I'm I'm Hispanic, so. Not Puerto Rican, but I have Puerto Rican friends at work and they're pretty cool. Yeah, we're Hispanic. Thank you. Can we do a cook along with you live? Maybe it's a small video or something to get. Yeah, I'll definitely, we'll definitely try that too. That's kind of what the live is for. Uh, yeah. But she, before she used to post exactly the recipe and everything, but honestly, it seemed like back then there's none of people for people yeah. actually do it with her. And nobody's really talked about how, you know, if they were making or not. Or posted pictures to let her know that, hey, this is, we are making it. So we just kind of did away with the recipe thing and and posting it before because, I mean, it's a lot more work to do extra things like that. Not just that, but she has tons of things she does. So on top of everything else she does, that was just one less thing she had to do if people weren't making it. So if people make it, want to run the cook with her it's, it's different i think i have a bigger following <laughs> now so it'll be yeah. better <clears throat> if you eat treat meals it's okay yeah i definitely tell people that all the time that's definitely why i call them treat meals because it's food you shouldn't deprive yourself from food but you definitely got to know your limitations um if you know you're going to keep on going i definitely wouldn't i i try to tell people not to have treat meals if you're really trying to get into keto and be serious beginning. do not have treat meals in the beginning i would wait at least six months to a year to definitely start incorporating treat meals six months really do you do intermediate too or just keto i do intermediate most days i do 16 8 who introduced like today you? i didn't even eat my first meal till like three in the afternoon what's that mean who introduced you to keto sammy uh mom? my mom did my mom first um told me about keto when i was first trying to like figure out how to lose weight that looks scruffy. um i didn't know what to do we gotta get her cut. It looks good. <laughs> and um, she was losing weight. She was over there in Italy, and her Italian friends were doing keto, and they introduced her to keto, and she started losing all this weight. And I was like, "What are you doing? Because I need to lose weight. I've had all your grandkids. Like this weight is staying on here." And she told me about keto. She basically gave me like the rundown of it, like the basics, and I just jumped into it and did the research myself. And I was like, "Well." Oh, I joined like keto groups like on Facebook and I would kind of like for like the first like two weeks, I would kind of just watch what everybody would post and like what the whole keto thing is about and what kind of recipes they're making and like just different things to eat, like all the basics. And then I kind of just jumped into it. And I was like, why not? It doesn't hurt to just give it a try and try to lose some weight. And I went from there. <laughs> I've stuck with it. Do you plan on having 
Yeah, so we're doing a New Year's challenge if you didn't see my post. Um, I am doing a new Keto with Sammy challenge, but we're going to start on the 3rd. I feel like that'll give everybody some time to like get into it. I don't want to force everybody to start directly on the 1st because that is New Year's. You're going to be enjoying time with your family, eating some good food for the New Year's. Um, I don't know. Some people might be hungover. <laughs> so I don't really want to like force everybody to do it on the 1st. So we're going to start... Um, the new keto asami challenge on january 3rd which is on a monday so we will start a new fresh week we're going to be doing a 90 day challenge um and i think i'm just going to do the keto basics with everybody we have a lot of new people starting to go into keto and getting um introduced to keto some people have been long term but some people aren't so i feel like if we do a basic keto challenge stick to your 20 net carbs a day maybe do some workouts if you can um i think that'll be good so we'll do that for 90 days and i say 90 days because if we have beginners, it really does take about three months to really get into a routine of keto and get your body into ketosis and really get into it. So I feel like three months, 90 days will be really good for everybody. So y'all stay tuned for that because I will be posting the details very soon before we get started. And then I'll be doing check-ins on my Facebook, but I also will be doing check-ins on here on YouTube in the community section if you do not have Facebook. They're working out. Uh, where she hasn't been working out lately, because honestly, that's my goal it, um, it's next the year. Time like I'm spending so busy, time guys. together is if she was to work out, we really wouldn't spend much time. It's just together. because he came back from work and I missed him, and we kind of got out of routine, and we need to spend some time together because time just goes by fast. Yeah, and I'm me. constantly doing videos, and we're busy with the kids, just with life. And I and just haven't been in the routine. Our, our relax is just playing the game. Yeah, so we just want to relax we together spend and enjoy that our time. time. together basically so it's just a lot of things that i already do and then on top of that i would have to put a workout in there but i don't care i'm doing it um for new year's i have to get back on schedule we've spent our time and we kind of just gotta get back on schedule a little bit we're working out because i don't like to not work out i love working out it just puts me in a good mood i just have to find the right time for it to fit throughout my day um, but for my New Year's resolution, that's one of my New Year's resolutions is to stay committed to working out. Um, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do my 10 uh, New Year's resolutions because I have a lot of things that I really want to accomplish this year. And then next year, by the end of the year, I'll definitely let y'all know what I have accomplished. Just <clears throat> do, do. There's not a limit on eggs you have to really go throughout your macros like it depends it's everybody is different for your weight and your height so you really have to find your macros and i do have a video on how to do that but all right guys i think we're about to jump off the the kids are getting um hungry again yeah, and yeah they all the time. <laughs> they're always hungry you got they're three boys so much we got three boys so but all right i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and we will be live back next tuesday at 7 30 we're gonna be cooking another recipe so y'all stay tuned and look out for that post y'all don't miss me too much oh my god much. but thank y'all so much for all the love and the support guys i really appreciate it uh remember post in the comments and what y'all want to see me cook and also if y'all want to see a lot more uh facebook's where it's at so that's where she communicates more so get on it can you post the weekly menu? You know what? I might just do a little post because I used to do my grocery haul videos, but I kind of been changing things up a bit. So maybe every week when I do post, uh, when I do make my menu, I can just make a small post on Facebook or in the YouTube community section for y'all and just tell y'all what I'm having for the week. I can definitely do that. All right, guys, y'all have a great night and thank y'all for joining us. Say bye, babe. Bye. Babe. See y'all later. <laughs> See y'all later. See y'all next week when we're burning down the night. kitchen again. Have a great <laughs> night. Get some good sleep. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>